Hey folks, uh, here we're going to add uh, three numbers together. This is called the, called add three add-ins. Add-ins are just numbers that we're adding together. And so for awesome teachers, there's our common core strand. And so how do we add three numbers? There are several ways to do that. So let's write the sum of each pair. A pair is two numbers of add-ins, okay? All right, so the first one is 2 plus 6. Well, 2 plus 6 is, uh, I always take the bigger one, 6, and then just add these two, 7 and 8. So that's 8 right there. All right, and this is our doubles facts right here. 3 and 3 gets us 6, or we can go 3, and then I count these little, here, let me see if I can get a better, I count these little pieces right here. That's pretty big. I don't need it that big. Just so you can see what I'm doing here. So three and then there's three little tails on a three so I count four, five, six. So this adds up to six right there. Okay. Uh, five and four. Well we can think of um, uh, four and four is eight. So five and four is one more than eight. Or you can think that five and five is ten. So five and four is one less than ten. So each way you get nine. Okay, this one's pretty easy. Four plus one. I always start with the bigger number and then add the smaller number. Four plus one is eight. I'm sorry, five. Did I say eight? Sorry. Um, seven plus three, seven. And I'll count these little sticks on the three again. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's ten right there. And five plus two, five, six, seven. It's going to get us that right there. Okay. All right, so describe how we found the sum of 5 and 4. Well, one way is to use the doubles fact, okay? We could change 5 to 1 plus 4, and then we can double 4 and 4. 4 plus 4 is 8, so we have 1 plus 8, or 9. Another way is 5 plus 5 is 10, so 5 plus 4 is going to be 1 less than 10, which is 9, okay? There's probably other ways that you might think of also. Okay, we can group numbers in different ways to add, and so we can choose two numbers and look for facts that we know. Hmm, that got kind of blocked off right there. Facts that we know, okay? Uh, that's a picture right there. It just got blocked off. That's okay. All right, so here we have uh, 3 plus 2 plus 7, okay? If we just added the first two, 3 plus 2 equals 5. 5 plus 5, do you know what? Uh, 5 plus 7. 5 plus 7, well, if we did 7, count with my fingers, I got my fingers out, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I know it's going to be 12 right there. Or we can group these two numbers together. 2 plus 7 equals 9. 9, 10, 11, 12. We can uh, uh, group those guys together and we still get 12. Or we can group the first one and the last one. And look at this. 3 plus 7 gets us 10. 10 is easy to add numbers with. 10 plus 2 equals 12. So everything's 12 no matter what. Okay, So it doesn't matter which order you add them. Um, later, when you get into uh, uh, your middle school and high school, it's called the commutative property. We're moving numbers around the addition sign. You know, like when I commute to work, I drive my truck to work, I'm commuting. Well, I commute these numbers around the addition sign, and we don't have to add them in the order that it's given. I can add this one and this one, and this makes 10. 10 plus this leftover 2 is 12, okay? All right, so this says solve two ways. Circle the two add-ins that we add first. Okay, what I'm going to do is add these two guys first. So I'm going to circle these. 1 plus 8 is 9, and then we're left with 9 plus 2. 9 plus 2 gets us 11 right there. Now, we'll get 11 if we grouped these two guys together. Watch. 8 plus 2 equals 10. Okay, so 1 plus 10 is also equal to 11. So I'm just following the directions. It says circle the add-ins that we add first, and we're going to do it two ways. I'm going to do that strategy here. 7 plus 3 is 10, and then 10 plus 3 gets us that 13 right there. Okay, if we added these two guys first, 3 plus 3 is 6, and 7 plus 3 is also going to be 13. I know 6 plus 6 is 12 using my doubles fact, so 7 plus 6 is 1 more than 12, or 13. Which way do you like better? I like it if we can get a 10, like this guy and like this guy. I like getting 10s first. Okay, hello, Lucy. Hello, sweetie. She just came in from outside. Lucy's our new dog. She's a real little lover. She's a cutie. She's about a year old. A little over a year old. Anyways, um, uh, okay, so 4 plus 2. We're going to add these two guys together. 4 plus 2 equals 6, and then 6 plus this leftover 4. That's easy enough. That's 10. Well, if we group these two guys together, 2 plus 4 is also equal to 6. So here we have 4 plus 6. Well, 4 plus 6 is also 10. Either way is good on me on that one right here. How about this one? 
2 plus 8 is 10, so we get 10 plus 2 is 12. What if we grab these guys, 8 plus 2? Well, that's 10 also, so 2 plus 10 is still 12 right there, okay? All right, sometimes they have them uh, like this, and they want us to, so I'll circle the top two numbers first. So let's circle 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2 equals 5, and 5 plus 6 is one more than 5 plus 5, so it's going to be 11. Okay, what if we grouped these two guys together? 2 plus 6 is 8. 3 plus 8, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so we get 11. Okay, 7 plus 0 is 7, so, and then over there I'm going to do 0 plus 2, so this is 7 plus 2, which is 9. Okay, and then over here we added these guys as 2, 7 plus 2 is also equal to 9. Alright you guys, it's time for a Scooby Snack. Take care.